teensy bit of Pikmin, teensy bit of a oh, Pikmin late at night. Te te teensy little bit of Pikmin for the boys. Spelled with B-O-I, so it's gender neutral. I, you know, cover gotta cover all the bases. <laughs> That's how that works, I promise. You gotta put a, you gotta put a lot of oi into it, boys. Then you then that's you know immediately that's referring to everybody. <laughs> um, hey, we're back. Last time we did a little bit more of the shore, something shore, serene shore. I think it is. Um, we did a pretty sure we well, we did a nighttime expedition. We did a Dandori battle. I know that much. We fought the cannon beetle. Right. I don't think... Did we do the Dandori battle last time? No, I don't think we did. Last time, no. Last time we just did the cave where we got to see the Canna Beetle for the first time. Hopefully not the last time, because that was really cool to see. And now we are going to be heading back to the Serene Shores, and we're going to keep, keep trucking along. I, um... You know, I heard some. I, I heard people saying that like the music for this game wasn't as good as the other games. I don't know. I've been enjoying it. It's very subdued. I think it's very much in the background. Feels like they treated it very much how they treated music in uh, in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. It feels like very much that mentality carried over, where it's like it's very atmospheric. It's more at on the atmospheric side than it ever has been. Very much pushed to the background. Oh, right, we did unlock the hero's hideaway, but no, I want to keep going. Serene Shores. Might as well, I mean, we've been getting everybody, every other place to 99%. Might as well keep it going. I'm wondering how, how memorable these areas will be compared to areas in the other games. I, uh, I already don't really remember, quite remember what the first area was. Oh, no, I do. I do a little bit. It was very big. It, was big. it wasn't very extensive. I'm definitely remember going to remember every other area, I think, after that a lot better. I mean, the, the inside the house one is going to be super easy to remember. <laughs> that That's going to be a pretty iconic new level, for sure. Um... Also saw some discourse around the game's difficulty. I think it's should it should be I feel like we can all agree the game is easy. The game is admittedly Good thing Ochi knows how to swim, no kidding. Um I, I think that like it's pretty plain to see that oh we have ten Do we wanna risk white Pikmin dying? Well okay, let's see Let's see what we're looking like on the map. Oh, this. Right, right. We should just run over here and do this cave immediately, I think. Do everything up here. I think that sounds good. So is this. Jeepers. Okay, well, let's do this. So let's not even get Pikmin out. Um... Mm. Oh wow. Oh, is this like a submerged castle? Wait a minute, is this a sum engulfed castle? Oh wait, no. Oh wait, I was kidding. <laughs> wait, you could see his things fall. <gasps> no way. I didn't know this is what I was getting myself into. Oh wait, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Wait, they actually did it. I can't. I'm. I'm flabbergasted. I'm absolutely. I can't believe they. I can't believe they straight up. I mean, okay, it's called the Engulfed Castle, and it's also so completely submerged in water. So if you know, you know, right? But I mean, I can't believe they actually just straight up. In the image, they just spoil it straight up. He's in the game. No way, he's in the game. And I saw. You know, it's funny because I saw. A tweet the other day, somebody was like, oh, I feel like Pikmin 4, uh, Pikmin 4 was kind of lacking this sort of existential eldritch horror beast. Like like in Pikmin 3 and some of the other games. And, and, but no, here we go. Liar. Here it is. <laughs> it's right here. It's the most existential beast in all the games. Oh my gosh, they actually did it. This was 
when I I kept joking about this, I was like, "Yo, you better put the you better put the water wraith. You better have a, like a submerged castle equivalent of some kind. You better do it, Nintendo." I was, I that was like a, that was like a me being silly, like me requesting something that was never gonna happen, kind of a deal. Holy crud! Shortly into my explorations, a loud bang echoed throughout the cave. My memory's been clouded by fear, but I do recall that there was nothing I could do with the blue Pikmin. I'd brought with me, and I ran away in desperation. The rest is a mystery. Holy crud. Wild Pikmin, question mark, question mark. Oh, man. Suggested blues. Not... Mm, but I feel like we have to, right? Like, I'm not going to bring anybody else into th into this nightmare. The implication to what this place is is too strong for me not to just go with full blues. I can't believe it. This is not what I signed up for. I was going to go peruse around and have a, a great and happy time. There's always a sequel in horror movies. <laughs> There's always a sequel. Oh, this is interesting. Got a mossy little patch. Yeah, I was gonna say it was very it's pretty clear, right, that like the difficulty of the game overall Um, Ochi, you're able to fight dude, right? Yeah, yeah. If you I mean, I'm sure we can all admit oh crap. The game's easy, right? Like the game's clearly easy. Now I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. I'm having a- oh, crud, it's fire? Oh, I thought it was water, I just assumed. But, like, Ochi makes a lot of things trivial. Um... I guess in case we need to make a quick getaway. I'm gonna have to be careful about how much I'm, I've been getting used to splitting up. Oh, it's a new one. Oh, I didn't even realize it's the first time we're seeing one of these guys. assumed we'd have to... Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened, gang? Oh, duh. <gasps> I just realized... The song literally is the submerged castle theme. Do we have to- Oh no, we have to knock the bar off. That's what we- we have to lower the bar, I understand. We hop on. It's literally the submerged castle theme. They brought it back.
Ooh, oh, close. Close, a little close there. I'm so scared. I'm so genuinely scared. really hard for me to, I wanted to talk about the game's difficulty because I think the game is obviously very um is obviously very easy and I feel like that's like easy enough to be able to admit and doesn't speak to the quality of the game at all I think I think the game's a very good game it's just very easy oddly enough I feel like for the first time ever I would say that enemies having more HP I think would have been really good um, for like the first time ever. Um. <gasps> Where is that? Oh gosh. Oh, he's back. Look at him. He's so smooth. <laughs> he's lacking polygons. Well, I mean, he has two. He has met more polygons. Oh, the music. Something just dropped from above. What is that thing? I can see it, but I'm not picking up any signs of life. I hope this will all make sense after I check the log. The non-existent entity. Holy crud. Okay, this is great. Oh, I've got the I got the biggest dumbest smirk on my face. I've never I've never been so happy to see something that's absolutely going to destroy me. <laughs> Uh, bomb rocks show no signs of working against this creature. Never mind Pikmin attacks. Does his body not actually exist in this dimension? Maybe if I hit it with a gravitational wave, the dimensions will converge and it will show itself? But is that possible? Oh, it is. You know what that means, baby? We're getting freaking purple Pikmin. Let's go. His body might not exist in this dimension. How is that possible? So a physical attack could have no impact at all? So what do we do? Let me think. I suggest you go with my favorite battle strategy and just run away while you can. <clears throat> Wait, what? I lost a guy? How did I lose a guy? Um, that's a hundred percent. Oh crud, we can just leave now? Man, I spent a long time on this floor. Uh, floors last a lot longer. The the area, there's a lot more ground to cover. And since they're actually like designed levels, they take a bit longer to uh, maneuver through. But we did it. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, well, that was only 20% too. <laughs> Even the theme's back. That's so great. Look at him. His roll of his rolling pins look so like smoothed out now. <clears throat> genuinely, genuinely can't believe they brought it back. I'm so happy. I'm so unbelievably happy. I was it, it was a joke. It was a <laughs> I was just fooling you, Nintendo. You didn't have to do it. It's a good thing I got Dr. Pepper, else I'd be more scared. Okay, so now he's he was f completely out. Right off the- oh, there's a castaway here too? Okay, well, we can just leave right off the bat if we want to. Oh, this was like a straight-up layout from the last game. I recognize this. 
Oh wow. It's kind of cool. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh no, we can't direct pick them though. Okay, so how do we do this then? Oh, we need to, uh, we need to lower the thing. We need a button. Oh my gosh, I thought for a second, I thought they were bulbin. I thought that was a bulbin over there. Because that's what we got last time. So I think bulbin are like for sure not in the game. Which is a bummer, but I can live with that. This guy's walking around. Awkward. Okay. I think everybody's good. Oh, right, there's hiding now. That's great. Oh, this is... This is one for one layout from two. This is literally the second floor layout from two. Is this whole... Is this whole dungeon a one for one remake of it? Were they just like hitting up the greatest hits? Yeah. Yeah, the pipe that leads up here and everything. But what's with the twinkly music? Now we don't have to worry about them still closing after death. Okay, Ochi goes in there. <gasps> oh! Oh, right, the Dweevils! Yeah, the Dweevils that were up top. Wow. I'm getting a freaking... Oh. Oh. Except it's just so much larger now. The scale of everything is so much, so much larger now. Um, that's fifty percent. Why aren't those guys? Uh, why aren't those guys carrying it back? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Okay, well, I'll have to deal with that. I mean, if we don't get the clam, we don't get the clam, right? That's like just... Oh! Oh my gosh, I thought it was coming. <laughs> Let's look at the ID in info. Quiche from Nichki. That was one of the tourists. Oh no, Planetary Science Club. At Leon Academy, who believes the stars are inextri inextricably linked to the ore she collects. Well, hey. Interesting. Planetary Science Club. Nah, she's one of the students of traveling with the teacher. There may still be more of them out there. We need to keep searching. I think there's only three? Okay, Ochi will be with those ones. We need to run back and see. I guess I didn't throw enough Pikmin on the clam. <clears throat> I mean, if we can't do the clam, we can't do the clam, you know? Because, like, that's, that's a technical 100% right there. 
I would like to do the clam because I've been trying to collect as much. We were one off. Ah, cry, buddy. You know what? We're skipping the clam. Can't do it. Okay, where's the exit? Where's the enemy? Oh, right, he doesn't show up on the thing. Oh, the misery. I can't even fight my own enemy. Nope. Stop. Oh, no, he's gonna kill some guys. Oh. I thought he spawned in a different place. All right, we're leaving. Take the colors, go. Yep, let's go. Imagine if uh, in this animation it didn't show the captain, didn't show the player character going to. <laughs> so how many floors is it? If it's 20% every floor? What does that mean? That would be five, five floors, which is what, which is what the last one was. Is that electricity? No thanks. Here's the thing though, here's another reason why, why Ochi is like OP, right? Because Ochi gets a bunch of resistances and then can just do this. On his own. And that's kind of overpowered, you know? He can lift the weight of a hundred Pikmin. Um, but people are also saying that like, because you know, we have um, all of these, right? And people were saying, like, the fact that I have 49 backup Pikmin that I can use in caves whenever I want and or need to. Like, obviously the game's very easy. There are many things in the game that are easy. But people are having, an, I saw a discussion people were having in response to somebody's tweet talking about how easy the game was. Um, and they were talking about how... Oh, should have been up there. They were talking about how the people's response to that was, oh, well, you get to choose what buttons you press in response to, like, him having... No? Can't throw? Am I going to get yellow pigment down there? What are we doing? We get so many sprays for free, too. <gasps> Holy crap! I haven't seen these ones in a sec. Nope, okay, so electricity doesn't insta-kill. Which is good. Cool. Should I be leaving those guys there? Mm, probably not. Um, but my whole thing is that like the difficulty of a game is not reliant. Uh, determining the difficulty of a game, whether hard or easy, is not reliant on on the on input from a um, from the player, right? The, the difficulty of the game is whatever. The difficulty of the game is. Hallelujah. Okay. So like I don't think I don't think it's a it's a 
good response to say, oh, well, you you could have chosen not to use all the mechanics the game had. It's like, well, yeah, but we're not saying that the game can't be made harder by choosing not to interact with the mechanics. We're saying that with the mechanics of the game, as what they are now, the game is easy. The game is, at times, too easy. I killed Empress Bullblax, I turned her into vapor in seconds. It's it's ridiculous, you know. Oh, me all my Pikmin. Like for, for instance that feature, I can move the base and then it it brings me all all the Pikmin to me. I have um the fact that like, electricity doesn't insta-kill Pikmin anymore. Makes it a whole lot less frightening. I could just- I could have this sloppy of a fight, and I didn't lose any Pikmin doing it. Like, is, isn't that kind of- oh. Did I say I can lose any Pikmin to it? I mean that I can lose Pikmin, but only after, I guess, they become leaves? Oh, so do- Oh, did they change it to where, like, Pikmin have, like, hit points almost now? Where if they're flowers, they, like, won't die? And then if they're buds, it's another hit, and then if they're leaves, they die. Interesting. Okay. Well, silly me. I misspoke then. <laughs> but like, but still, electricity used to kill Pikmin regardless of, wh of what, whether they had leaves or not, right? Before. So they're very, very, um... They're very generous with a lot of things now. Seriously guys, can you can you get on that potato, please? I need that potato, dudes. Let's go, gang. Let's go. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. <laughs> There's like a verticality now, or rather more verticality now, which is interesting. Hey, why can't I just throw Pikmin on this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, so I, this should work, right? Come on, gang! Come on, avocado. We're making a di we're making a whole dinner here. Uh, that's a hundred percent. Okay, we could just leave. I could greed for these eggs. Mm. Maybe the eggs aren't that important. You know, maybe they're not that important. Oh wait, is he? Oh nope, he's coming. Okay, <laughs> let's just let's go. Let's just leave. That's a, that's all right. Honestly, we're we're doing pretty well. I think. I think we're doing pretty well. We've 100 percent at every floor so far. We've only had to encounter him a little bit. We've lost... <coughs> We've hemorrhaged quite a few Pikmin compared to the 60 we started with. Haven't seen any more. Haven't gotten... Haven't been able to get any more. Well, because in the submerged castle, in 2, you get to make white Pikmin, which I, I got killed immediately because cause there's water everywhere. So what the heck are you giving me like a white Pikmin for? And here we are, probably needing white Pikmin in a sec. What are these things? A new creature? Is it poisonous? Whoa! It sure is. Better not attack them from the back. Oh, it said better not attack them from the back then? Wait, what? He just ate one of my Pikmin for free? What the crap? Oh, 
Okay. Well, this is a nightmare. Uh, can can a boy get some white pigment? Oh, instead of making bomb dweevils, they just made dweevils with bombs on their heads? Oh wait, are they poisonous ones too? I think they're poisonous too. Ooh, a D4. I like D4s. They're neat. Big one having trouble. Which ones? Where? You guys can't get through this stuff? Okay, hallelujah. What? Okay, so now I gotta be careful. A lot of my Pikmin are becoming... Becoming leaves. We're getting roughed up. I mean, yeah, there's just there's just too many things in the game that makes it easy. It's like, where do we draw the line between what we are and aren't allowed to use in order to make the game a what we would consider a normal difficulty? The fact of the matter is that normal difficulty is too easy. It should have been harder. For the first time ever, I'd say enemies could use a lot more health than they have. Um... Real sloppy, but I'm scared. Yeah, they were just a little too uh, lenient about a lot of things, about how traps work, about how quickly you can kill enemies. Um, if they were gonna make Ochi so strong. And they, they were going to make items so powerful. Like for instance, this is a this is like a global, um, long. This is a long global stun. It's crazy. I have you can you can buy healing items now, which you could. There was no healing in the other games. Um, well, there was like the 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 knapsack I think, but it took a long time of inactivity. You got mines. You got like tracer bombs, you have like the normal bombs, you have ice, you could freeze enemies now. It's crazy. Um, you can look ahead, like from the safety, you can call everybody back, no matter what they're doing, and they will all flood straight back to the SS Beagle, which was in three, but then they have this one, which is like, you can just recall idle Pikmin to wherever you sound it. That's so, that's like so strong in this game. It's kind of crazy. What? Oh. Um. Oh, for the love of everything. I didn't know they could be this too. That's so good. It actually got me. Oh, these ones are poisonous. Okay, you know what? They're, they're going a little harder with what enemies can do, though. Enemies can do a little... There's a lot of enemy variation in this game. And they all do different things. 
which is pretty intense. Ah, oh, crud. Hey, that looks a little familiar. That's not where we literally are right now, is it? Or where we just were? It's a little close. <laughs> oh, he's getting caught and stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow. That was kind of clutch. That's 100%. You know, there's some materials, though. <laughs> oh, the greed. The greed. It's it's so funny. Of course, like, the moment I start talking about, um... The moment I start talking about... Like, like, that the fact that the enemies are, like, too easy. I get jump-scared by an enemy that I, I, did, I couldn't even see because it blended into the terrain so well. And I had never seen one before. Oh, wait a minute. Here's what we do, here's what we do. Oh, she gets out. Easy. Easy game, easy money. Oh, last stage, right? Last four? And this is what I mean, right? The game's so much fun that I kind of don't care about the difficulty. The difficulty is just the only thing I would levy against the game. You know? <gasps> Purple flowers, yes. Yes. But it seems like we're going to have so few rock, purple, and white Pikmin, though. It also said that like all ty all forms of wild Pikmin were going to, were going to be a mystery though. Oh, this is literally the last floor of the submerged castle. This is just a full love letter to it. Wow. <gasps> My boys. Now I know, I haven't watched Jimbo's video because I didn't want to be spoiled, but he it seemed to imply that Purple Pikmin were going to be back to being like super strong. These Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let me check the voyage log. That may be a relevant entry. Purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin has a strength of and weight of 10, pic, of 10 regular Pikmin. What they lack in speed, they make up for in force. When thrown, their impact is powerful enough to, admit, to emit gravitational waves. They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. Only found underground. Okay. They're ten times stronger than other Pikmin? How do they possess so much power? Look at them. Do they not look powerful? They've got a fighting spirit. They've got the love of God in them. <laughs> oh no, Christian Pikmin. Uh, well, it sounds like we can rely on them for some heavy lifting. We can rely on them for more than that. We're about to f kill a ghost. Can Ochi carry these guys on his back okay, though? Oh, yeah, no, we're still... I mean, he can carry a hundred pick... He can carry up, like, a hundred Pikmin's worth of, of weight, so I suppose so. Oh, yep. Great. Perfection. Yoink. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, we can't lock on to him either, I just realized. Oh, he, I thought he was about to do what he did in 2 when I, when I fought him and go, like, go over to where the ship was. Come on, bud. Oh, wait, he is doing it. <laughs> Why is he doing it? Uh, I guess some things never change. It's the same freaking thing. Oh, look at him run. It's so silly. Kill him. Hilarious. He should have had a copy of Pikmin 2 inside of him. What does he have? Wave Race? Wave Race? This is a cool looking disc. <sighs> Goodbye, Water Wraith. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. The people who made this game really, really... Really, really, like... They put a lot into it. You could tell that they, the people who were like working on this game, enjoyed Pikmin. Like they enjoy the series. At least it feels like they do. At least they must have had somebody like leading the charge who really did. Maybe it was Miyamoto. Maybe Miyamoto just found somebody who shared his love of his series. Well, walking out with 51 Pikmin. Have to come and win with 60. That's not that bad. All things considered. Let's see what the ID tells us. Oh, sir. Cigarette? Research Task Force Recruit. An archaeologist tracking the path of civilization across the universe. He hopes his discoveries will shock the world of academia. Boss. A rune excavation specialist. He probably came to this planet to do research. Excellent rescue work. Bring him on back here. I have some questions for him. Oh wait, not all treasures have been collected? Oh, I'm glad it told me that. I I had well, after I said okay, let's proceed, I had I it occurred to me that I hadn't even checked if we were one hundred percent. Um, no, cancel. Hold on. Oh no, yeah, we're at 66%. <laughs> that would have been so silly. Um. Yeah, wait, wait, where? Who? Is there a buried treasure here? That would have sucked to throw a Pikmin there. Oh. Oh, look at that shockwave. Boom. Wait, do they have the same throwing arc? They do, they go a little bit over and then they like fall straight down. Oh, duh, we're getting the purple paint. Part of the set, that makes sense. <laughs> there we go, that good? There we go, yep. Silly me, that would have been super silly. That did happen with one cave, although the cave that it happened with in Pikmin 2, I like... My my treasure meter went out on every single floor. So I don't know... How I missed one in that, but oh well. 
But there's no, there's no purple flower garden or white flower garden though, you know? Which makes me wonder... How are you supposed to get like more of those Pikmin types? Unless you're just not supposed to. Well, pick, well the purples will be a must-have walking around. Nice. Look how many Pikmin we have. Look at rock Pikmin sitting next to purples and whites. What a day. What a game. Who'd have thought? Not me. We should still have a lot of day left. Oh, it suggests all three of these This is the last Pikmin it wanted. Interesting. Well, sure. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, we got plenty of day left. Well, okay, I'm not going to, I was going to go to maybe like another cave, but I'm not gonna do that now. Wow, we have purple Pikmin, we're gonna fight the sniffer. Well, they didn't stun him, although I don't think... I don't think I had the angle. Hold on. Do they need to fall next to a guy? Um, okay. Well, he... It looks like he got one shot. Surely, that can't be right. <laughs> Surely, that must have been a mistake. Look at this man go. Look at my man go. Ow. No, no, no. Oh, he just got Ochi. I thought I was about to lose purple Pikmin immediately. You know, I mean, you know how the saying goes. It's always a purple. We got a shortcut now. Yeah, you know, I mean, the music's obviously very subdued, but I, I don't think it's bad by any means. I, I enjoy it a lot, actually. Uh, oh, we could do a time trial. I don't want to like layer multiple caves in. I want this. I want this, <laughs> this, uh, this video to stand as the engulfed castle level. Oh, the the the, ep the engulfed castle episode. It for sure deserves that on its own. But I'll get me some some treasures and stuff. Oh, I think another indicator of just like how easy this game is. Something that I found out, and I thought I had, I thought that I had like maybe misunderstood. But something I've noticed, and I got this confirmed by my friend, who's also playing this game, was uh, this game. In this one, for some reason, the, um... <laughs> the enemies don't respawn in the surface. They, they respawn in the caves, but they don't respawn in the surface. Ever. Apparently. Um, which is crazy to me. I don't understand why... I don't understand why they would do that. That makes things so trivial. Like, you're telling me no matter how many... Oh, my bud. Hey, you know what? Purple Pikmin, this guy's still hauling it, you know? I'm gonna be honest. He's still... They're still trekking along. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Because part of... Part of the challenge of coming back to areas or um, 
going to areas multiple days in a row was needing to figure out like what which enemies were going to respawn, which enemies were going to come back at, like over the preceding days. Oh my gosh, they're good again. Oh my gosh, they're so strong. Uh, of all the things to do. Um, I guess there's like a bit of, like, you know that once you've explored an area, you don't have to worry about danger anymore. Or like, for the most part, you wouldn't have to worry about danger anymore. And that's interesting. It just seems kind of weird. It makes things kind of trivial. Because, like, I started to pick up on it when, um... Yeah, I started to pick up on it when... There was, like... I, I was on, like, I had, like, left the the starting area, the first area of the game, and did, gone and done a bunch of other stuff. And when I went back, there were still no enemies left. And I sort of just assumed, like, okay, well, maybe, you know, maybe the, maybe they, maybe they just take a really long time to come back. But it's like, no, that's certainly not it. They just never come back. And what's interesting is that the the larvae still have the little thing on top where they suck in. <gasps> oh. Well, purple pigment just do some crazy damage. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Holy crap. It's okay, gang. I didn't know. That was my bad. I'm getting sloppy. Smack those pebbles. Make them pay. This is a nightmare place. Look at how the rocks turn. I wonder if the red ones are back. Because the red ones have uh, rocks that actually follow you everywhere. Yeah, everybody here should be safe. So I am going to drop down. Knock that thing down. What's this place? The Seafloor Resort. Ooh. This is very interesting. What beautiful scenery. When I'm surrounded by water, I can't help but feel at one with the sea. Sadly, there aren't many places to land in here. So non-swimming Pikmin aren't going to be able to do much. At least I... At least I got to pretend I was on vacation for a little while, right? Oh, Alamo. You poor man. Thank you, my friend. So let's just keep climbing up. Oh, 
a lot of materials around. That's kind of nice. Oh, right, I forgot I called a bunch of Pikmin back <laughs> after, um, we almost got taken the heck out by a cannon beetle. Sure, Ochi, you can help with that. Oh, look at all of them marching along. Now this looks like, now this is some straight up ant activity. That's what I like to see. Another this a big egg. Oh, oh, you're new. Oh, and there's a landing spot up here. The music was getting a little wild right there. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying up. Straight Pikmin? Where? Is it these ones? Nah, they're fine. Don't even worry about it. Well, okay, I think I know what we're gonna do next time. We're gonna climb to the top of this mountain and claim the territory, I guess. It does sort of feel like you are claiming territory now that enemies, like, don't die. Oh, she is a good boy. Ochi's a good boy, but why does Ochi have Leaf Tail? Did Ochi die? Did I get Ochi killed? Is this something? Is this something you're about to do to me, game? Cause don't, cause like don't. You know, I would rather you didn't. To be completely honest. Can they make this bridge? Before the time is up. Ooh, maybe. Seems like maybe it's gonna be a little close. No, that's gonna be it's gonna be way too close for comfort. I don't like it. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't believe in it. That was <laughs> like maybe maybe they would have been all able to lay it out, but I don't know if I would have been able to whistle them all back in time. That onion's getting crowded. So maybe rock Pikmin aren't gonna get their own flowers anymore. Wing Pikmin too. Maybe they're just gonna be designated to like, you'll just be given them in caves that need them. Which is fine, I guess, you know? It, it's like, you can still have them in the surface. But I guess having more tailored experiences, well, having experiences tailored for each specific kind of Pikmin makes a little more sense or or it makes makes sense in in this case that's not a bad idea Yeah, what were some of these things called? The Stellar Extrusion. Ex extrusion, right? Ambiguous Hostel. Ambiguous Hostel? Oh, Hostel. I see. Because <laughs> it has, like, spots for the Pikmin to fit in, I guess. It's a very nice looking ocarina. Stately Rubber Cutie. Noble Goo. That's right. The, per the purple Pikmin are our noble creatures. <laughs> the Glinty Circular Disc. Insect Condo. Turn of events track. Difficult choice totem. Scaly custard. Ugh. Scaly custard? Awful. Memory fragment bottom? Probably? <laughs> Child of the earth. Daughter, daughter of the earth. Why is she shaped like that? A uh, crush nugget. Hope of. a oh, hoop of passion. Ice sword. The secured satchel. That was a fun moment. Seeing the lock like stuck on a pole. So you had like lower the gate to get it off. That was that was that was a nice moment. 
I thought for a moment maybe I was going to have to get like a key treasure to go take over to it. Dang, that bumped us up to only only from 30 to 44 percent. This, this is a large area, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I wonder, has Ochi's tail always looked like this? Okay, thank you for addressing this. Space dog breeds can be very mysterious. Perhaps it changed as he grew. Well, he does seem to be suffering from... He doesn't seem to be suffering from any health issues as of late. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of freaked out by it. Because... He'd, he'd be becoming a lot more like Moss than... Because he, he just wasn't like... He wasn't from this planet. Maybe the planet's atmosphere changes. Like, maybe he's able to breathe in. But maybe it changes his, like, biology? Oh. Are we claiming new ground? <laughs> After many castaway requests, we're adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully this will ensure that all the castaways stay comfortable while they're here. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit anyone else we rescue while we're on the planet. Everyone you rescued pulled together to give you this, or to give this to you, as a way of saying thank you. I believe it's more raw material. Ooh, 20. Neat. You got a new thing, Doc? What do you got? You got Tough Stuff Plus. We already had that. Oh, ooh. Coated in a sealant that repels the gooeyest of gunk, you won't be impeded by the sticky paths wearing these boots. You know, that was another thing, too. A point that I made when I was uh, looking at the discussion and responding to some stuff um, to, to an online thre thread on, on Twitter about the difficulty of the game, one thing that I brought up was that, you know, it's... Even the items and stuff like that and the upgrades, they do make things a lot more a lot easier, but they're not like, they're not, the items and the gear, they're not free things. It's not the same as lowering the difficulty. It's not the same as equipping an item that you get at the start of a game that that's specifically meant to help players who are struggling, right? It's not the same as funky mode in like Donkey Kong Country Returns, right? It's these are things that you have to get materials to purchase the items. You have to buy things. You have to buy them. You have to earn the materials by collecting it out throughout the world, by fighting enemies. You have to earn the materials in order to purchase these upgrades. Um, these are rewards, you know? Just like in any other game. You get upgrades, you get rewards. Do upgrades sometimes make games easy? Yes. Do, do they sometimes make games too easy? Yeah, I think sometimes... Um, devs go a little overboard with how powerful they make you. But these kinds of upgrades are things that you get naturally throughout the game in Pikmin 2. So like, and you are, you also have to earn them in that one. You just earn them in a different way. And honestly, there's way more upgrades this time that are all locked behind a currency. A currency that's shared between gear, items, and also opening up sections of the map in the levels, right? So it's not like... I don't know. I don't feel like it's the game's not giving you a free pass. If you get these things, if you buy all these things, it's because you got the the um the currency and earned them. And then when I mentioned that, one person I I, I noticed <laughs> responded, and I didn't respond back because I was just like, I don't know what to tell you. Um. Uh. So one person responded, "Well, you don't have to buy them, though. I chose not to buy any of the items and stuff." And it's like, okay, well, that's great for you. But you chose to do that. We're all allowed to choose to make the game harder if we want to. That doesn't mean the game's hard, though. Like, you choosing to make the game hard doesn't mean that the game, on its own, is hard. That's the thing. Um, and people being and people pointing out that the game is incredibly easy is not. It's not their fault that the game is easy. The game is just easy. Um, I don't think it. I also just don't think, like, the difficulty of the game really matters, because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so, like, ultimately, I don't know, ultimately, it, it's a lot of fun. I don't I don't really care how easy it is. 
I'm having a great time with it. Um, do I hope that they maybe add a harder difficulty in the future? Yeah, I think so. I, I, w I would love to see that. I think I think enemies just having more health would go a long way in and of itself. I think enemies respawning would be a good thing. Um, there's a couple things you could do. I would. It would be cool if... Because right now, I don't feel like it's necessary to use these items. You, bomb rocks are pretty cool because you can make enemies um, eat these, which is cool. Um, we haven't seen another wall that needs to be bombed <laughs> to break, though. That's another thing. So it's it's a little weird. They did that. that they did that one time in the blas in the blossoming Arcadia, and then they never did it again. I would I, I I would like it honestly if certain things got got hard enough to where I really had to weigh my options as far as like the resources I had, like. Like make laying mines being worth it. Maybe doing a maybe doing a lightning shock isn't just a free pass on a boss. Maybe it's actually like necessary. Maybe maybe I, I get stuck in a situation where things are so bad that I need like a quick get out getaway. You know, same with same thing with the ice blast. Using a pick pick carrot as a diversion, um, to paralyze somebody really quick so I can get out and do something. You know, if the game was hard enough, th there's for sure. A way to make the game difficult enough that these items become necessary tools instead of instead of um, freebies or like a free pass out of out of a out of a situation, you know. Um, it looks like this is an upgrade to the treasure gauge, which will let us see the total amount of treasures in each location. I will absolutely do that. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Well, hold on. So does that mean... My man, Colin. So then... Treasures. 30, 33 out of 34. 59 out of 60. 40 out of 86! 86! What? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things to get in this game. But I'm confused. How did I miss one treasure in both of these areas? And why does that count as one more percent? Surely, either I'm blind and I and, and I truly could not find some, well, it didn't mark, they mark everything on the maps though. There has to be some post game thing that you have to go get. Like these have to be post game things. I'm almost positive, right? Man, we haven't even seen other onions and the Serene Shores. Hmm. Hello? Well, you know what? With that, that's going to be the official end. I'm going to look at some stuff in the Piclopedia and whatnot. Definitely going to read the Water Wraith thing um, and also talk to the survivors we saved. But uh, that's the end of the actual playing of the game or adventuring part. So hey, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Did Ochi just give himself a scratch? He gives himself scratches. I've never seen that. That's so cute. Um, anyways, gosh, I, I'm, uh, I'm gushing too much. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so itchy. My boy's got fleas. Poor guy. Um, hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Episodes of this daily, just about. Um, and streams of Tears of the Kingdom a couple times a week. Uh, and yeah, oh, also links in the, in the description below. Me and my friend are making a game. If you want or, or are interested in doing so, any and all support towards that is super helpful. That is kind of what we have dedicated our time, pretty much full time, to doing. Um, if you enjoy that, if you, if you can, all the links and information to that are down in the, in the description. Supporting the video, supporting the streams, and supporting the Patreon, all that good stuff, um, will help us out greatly, and we'll be very, very thankful. Um, yeah. That being said, that is all there is for this. Don't forget to be kind, and I'll see you around next time. Um, okay, one thing. First things first. I want to get... <laughs> Yeah, I got four points. That's pretty good. 
I get that big chomp and let him jump in the air and bite people. You know what? I kind of want... I haven't, I haven't upgraded Rush at all. Mmm, I could let him gather Pikmin. I don't really need him to do that. I like Rush. Cool. And then one more point, I'll give him Pluck again. Neat. Okay, that's that. You both have more things. You got another uh, quest for me? Oh, sir. Hey, you're the one who saved me, right? <laughs> Am I ever grateful for you, my friend? I came here to investigate this place from my archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct collapsed structures and really just investigate all sorts of fascinating stuff. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is going to dig it. <laughs> Just a little archaeology joke there. Terrible. Terrible, Osa. I should have left you in that cave. So, I heard you use raw materials to make bridges and, well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did? That's great. Just what I wanted to hear. The thing is, I'd love it if you could tell me when you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, I'll give you something to show my appreciation. Well, you built all that? I was gonna say, I've built many things. More than ten, surely. Hey, are you a professional builder? Well, you are now. 16 out of 20 now? Okay, that's just some free material. And then, was that the last... Of these no. school kids? No. Must not be. My name's Keish. I came to the planet on a field trip with my high school's planetary science club and wound up stranded. Well, I'm sorry, Keish. I guess that's all she's got to say about that. I mean, you know what? That's just the situation. What else is, it, is there to say, really? Yeah, honey. Okay, Dalmo. Hit me with it. Oh. Not bad. So fascinating. You must let me know if you find any new snarly snuggers. Sn s snarly snugglers out there. A hundred creatures now. Jeepers. Um, last time, I forgot to actually read the description for the cannon beetle. Um, let's just go through this then. When I see this blazing beastie, I get a rush of excitement. It's easy to lose track of time while staring fixated at the flame and shrouded form of the fiery Bulblax. Its appearance brings to mind ancient molten landscapes from an era before our earliest ancestors. This guy looks freaking. They made this guy look crazy now. Look how saggy his cheeks are. He's, a, he's like a marshmallow. Oh, you can see like the- you can see like it's like rolling off his back like lava. Jeepers. Ah! <laughs> He's taking a bite out of crime. Of a treat. Hydro, ice, and venom. Yeah, so these are poison, right? And then, okay, so instead of the, um, the caustic dweevils, the ones that just explode, they just have... <laughs> they, they just have ones that carry bomb rocks now, which is really messed up. <laughs> Did I read this one? Ar Arctic cannon beetle, a beautiful armored bug that sparkles like a diamond. The sight of it bustily tromping along, the way it sucks in air and spews out snowballs. Everything about it is remarkable. While, stra while standing transfixed by its stunning appearance, You'll end up covered in snow, for sure. And then probably die. <laughs> probably. These don't just mimic a growth of mushrooms for fun. These ones were a lot more... Well, may maybe it was just because I wasn't expecting it, but I feel like these ones have blended in way more than the flower ones did. The startle spore. Startle you by surprise. They also have... They also use the opportunity to spread poison around quite indiscriminately. indiscriminately. But that's just this little darling's idiosyncratic method for catching its prey. 
We could learn from the way nature embraces such unique and varied creatures. No kidding. Well, what's interesting is that, like... Yeah, it leaves poison behind. Which is brutal. Man, they made these things look so freaking weird. Somehow, somehow, they the, the creeping chrysanthemums were already some of the weirdest looking enemies in these games. They somehow made them weirder. And I don't understand how. Oh wait, these aren't called Wallywogs anymore? They use the Wally Hop moniker for them? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Fine. I don't like it. I'm still gonna call them Wallywogs, but do what you will. There's only been one Mamuda the whole game. And the thing, the thing... Another thing that sucks about um, enemies not respawning, right, is that you you don't get to see, like, am I ever going to see a Mamuda again? Because there was only one in the Blossoming Arcadia, so is that it now? Do I never get to see one again? Am I never going to see a, a Waddle Quaff again because I killed the, like, two that were out in the world? I don't know. It's very, it's very weird. Moldy dwarf bulborb. How did it happen? Picture the scenario: like this poor darling, you're you're conscious, but no longer in control of your own body. Ugh. Someone or something else has taken you over. A horrifying concept, isn't it? But what if the thing controlling you couldn't live if you if it didn't do that? Sometimes it's merely, it's simply a matter of survival. Jeez. That's a really grim... Oh, the family. It's not even the same family. Oh, because it's specifically the mold. It's, it's not talking about the bulb warp. It's talking about the fungus. Sporvid. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Family, question mark, question mark, question mark. You love to see it. Water Wraith. A living thing is a living thing, even if it transcends our understanding. This unnerving creature is translucent and has no actual physical body to speak of, yet somehow it clutches its rollers with zealous devotion. It's both eerie and fascinating, don't you agree? That's probably the best notes Dalmo's given. I feel like that was a very as fair assessment of this monstrosity. The way they made the smokiness coming off of its body... Okay, the only way, the only way the game could top this for me is if they put the smoky frog in here. If this, if I see a giant egg sitting somewhere in the game, and the smoky frog, and the smoky frog comes up, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, he gets stunned, but only for a second. Whoa! Only for a millisecond. So weird. Great. Just not something I would have ever expected. Amazing. And then last, but certainly not least. It's a profoundly heavy feeling, holding a living thing in your arms. It can be overwhelming to realize this thing is really alive. That said, these little ones have a destiny to them that makes them extremely heavy. Or a density to them that makes them extremely heavy. To hold them at all is difficult, but don't worry. They're strong enough that they can hold you. <laughs> well, that's that's a good one. That's fun. That's a whole lot of fun.